Hi, my name is Rob Lamb. I teach at Pattonville High School in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I teach chemistry and uh, I was noticing a general trend with my students. I was noticing that they were becoming uh, very discouraged with how they did on the ACT and I took this as a symptom because it was the charts and figures and graphs they had trouble with. We had spent lots of time with those but they didn't enjoy it and I didn't really like it much either. They uh, then I found infographics, and uh, my first one I found in Good Magazine, it was called Animals in the House, and I've used it extensively since then. Uh, but with my students, what I started doing is I started read aloud think alouds with them, which I'd done in articles in the past, but I'd never done with an infographic. So I put an infographic on the board, and uh, we looked at it together, and I talked through my, my feelings about it, and they, and they listened, and they gave their opinions on it. And this would usually take about five minutes to walk through an infographic. So we started dealing with data and started dealing with infographics on a, on a more uh, close level. Then uh, I took animals in the house and I did something called the deconstruction activity where I, I actually had the students pull out data from it. And uh, by pulling data out from the infographic themselves, they actually saw that there's a lot of information inside an infographic, especially a well-made one. Uh, I had done all this stuff and I would actually gotten noticed by uh, several people at UMSL at the time and they said, hey, this is a great idea, let's go take a look at this and try to, try to get a grant with it since you're doing all this great stuff. So we went and tried to get an exploratory grant we ended up getting a cyber learning exploratory grant. And they create their own infographics uh, with data on a topic of their choice within chemistry or biochemistry. Those infographics are then edited both by peers, myself, and professionals, and uh, go through about four revisions before they're considered complete, and sometimes five, six more. Uh, and they attempt to create a project or an infographic that's good enough for the general public that someone would be interested in looking at. So it's got that authentic piece to it. Um, you know, initially I did this for the ACT just to try to help the kids be a little more confident on it. I think some of the general things that I've taken out of this is that my students really have become more comfortable with data sets, even large data sets. My students uh, enjoy looking at infographics. I can get them to look at an infographic or infographics for 45 minutes straight and they'll have a great time and they'll learn a lot uh, and I could have never done that with graphs. So enjoy and I, I, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. Thank you.